Welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM and today we're going to take a look at what's happened so far this season. So um, I've been conducting this experiment about um, keeping the same players that Hereford has uh, for the first half of the season and then in January I decided to, you know what, I'm going to bring in my own players. And you can kind of see how the story goes by just looking at this graph here, the league table. You can see that the first half of the season we stayed um, in, you know, around first place for a long time. And then it comes a point where it descends quite rapidly to 10th place. So that's, that's kind of the, the January window. That's when I started to mess around with players. So if you are listening and you are the Hereford coach, keep the players you've got. They're great and they work well together. Um, that's my first bit of advice to Hereford in real life right now. The, those players work well together. I was actually quite surprised with one of their players in particular. <sighs> Orin Penley. I'm not even sure if he plays for the first team or not, but he, if you look at him, he doesn't seem to be a very good player at all, but he does so well. It's incredible. He's got high determination as well, which probably does help, and he's got pretty good um, physicals maybe for this level but yeah so he's he's quite a good player the only thing he's lacks is positioning and strength uh, but he does really really well uh, but because I follow quite a um, methodical sort of way of finding players and I'll show you in a minute what that's like um, uh, I decided to uh, move Erin on oh, sorry Orin on and um, find my own players so um, all of these players are the players that used to belong to Hereford. They've all pretty much gone. Um, and then I introduced my own players. So I started uh, at the start of the season. I only got two players: Joe Brown and uh, Harrison Burke. And now I got the rest of the squad. And yeah, they're probably not as good as the previous squad, but they are better in terms of my methodical way of doing it. And I'm going to show you what my methodical way of doing it is. And this kind of goes to prove that maybe this way of doing scouting isn't the best way at all. So if you go to, uh, say for example, goalkeepers. Um, what I first start to do is rate my own players. So I pick the attributes that are essential for a goalkeeping position. Um, uh, and then rate my own players. So obviously these are the new players that I've got now. But so I go and rate them, and I say, well, uh, Fergal has uh, no, his lowest point is an eight, and that is in positioning. And for Charlie or Orlock, his lowest point is a nine, and that is command of the area and kicking. Okay. Then I go, I take that off. I'm actually going to take this off too, just so I can exemplify. Usually I keep these on, on. Um, like whoever's interested to join the club, but just to sh show you better players, I say, oh, I want a, I want the best player I can find, and if Hereford could find, could Yoga Costa would be the best player that I could have, because uh, he's got a 14 in the goalkeeping and he's probably aerial reach. So, so that's the kind of the kind of finding that I do, except that I always take these on to make sure I only browse for players that. Um, are interested in coming to Hereford and I also put the scouting to the best possible scouting I can do for the budget that's left. So I did world scouting for a little bit, but I usually keep it around England or UK. Um, yeah, so that's basically how I do my players in, um, see if I can show you, see if I can put my notes side by side here. I keep a note, there we go, keep notes. And then what you can see here in these notes is that I put the lowest rating for that player. Which actually I just found out it was 10 for... Wasn't it 10 for Charlie? <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. I got a bit of a cold. <coughs> it was actually an 8 for Brown. There we go. Um, yeah, so... Rate them up and uh, keep the lowest rating uh, for their lowest attributes in brackets, and then <coughs> excuse me, and then I keep improving the squad until um, 
I've got those best stats. This doesn't give me the best players ever. Oh, uh, also another thing that I do is I always, when I browse, I always browse, browse start with, with the youngest players because they have got more potential for improvement. Now, one thing that this club has that um, doesn't really help with development of players is that we're not a full-time club and our facilities aren't great either. Sorry. Wow, I think I need to drink something. Um, yeah, so we, we're not a full full time uh, club, and we only have adequate training facilities, which means that players tend to, in general, will tend to decline once they come to us. Which is why Farrell Hale Brown is already declined from a nine to an eight um, by coming to our club. So. So that's it. Um, we've had a pretty good season so far, except when we hit the January window. Here we go. We can kind of see our descent into chaos. But other than that, we had a pretty good season and we were pretty much on top of things. Looking good. We had full approve approval from the board and from the supporters. Um, the only thing that's happened in the meantime in terms of improvement of the club, uh, if I go to board, is that we have better youth facilities um, that are going to be ready in a couple of months, I think. Is that right? Yes. So um, so that's going to come along, and we've had our youth candidate um, preview, and we're going to. We seem like you're going to have pretty good defensive players, which is good. We're going to jump into our next match, and um, I'm not expecting us to win. Um, because we've been on a losing streak, so, um, actually, before I do that, let me introduce you to the new squad. Yeah, that's what's missing. So, if I introduce you to the new squad, we've got, um, Fergal Hale-Brown, uh, in goal. As you can see, he's good by my stats, but he's not good in terms of overall stuff. So that's the downfall of using, I want to show you kind of the pitfalls of using that method as well. But I'll continue to use this method throughout the save just to see how it develops. So, and this is Charlie Horlock. In the right side of the fence, we have on loan Max Brattle. And he's actually not too bad. He's a pretty good player. Um, and Isaac. Where is Isaac? And he's also quite good physical. He, he should be able to develop quite nicely, this player. Hopefully. On the left side of the, the fence, we have Tom he Leeton. Um, and... Joe Brown, which was with us before as well, so I don't need to show him. In the fence, we have three new players. We've got Ryan Shutton. We have um, Tom. And we, he's also very good. And we also have Dwayne. Where is Dwayne? Dwayne as well. Um, do we have... Two brand new uh, defensive midfielders, a Reese Fleet, only on a short term loan. And we have a Joe Magunda um, on a permanent basis. Uh, we have two new midfielders, Daniel Ad Adiefan, looking pretty good for his age. And also Nathan, if I can find him, Nathan, there we go, as well. We got a combination. So we got a combination of like young players and not so young players. So we've got quite a lot of young players, mainly on loan. Um, and then we've got some pretty, pretty old players as well, mainly in attack. Um, then on the right side of attack, actually on the left side of the midfield, we have Antonio Clements. He's also new, and alongside him we have R um, Riel Reed. <coughs> And on the right side we have Andrew um, and also Nick. Nick Clayton Phillips. He can actually play on both sides, Nick, so I often use him to cover that way. And in, in attack we have um, Matt Red uh, for the uh, target forward position. He's pretty good. He's got really good stats for that position. But he obviously he's old and he's lacking some of the pace and stuff. Um, and we have Les Davis, and there's a similar story with him, really. And then on a poacher position, we have Jason Pryor, and we also have uh, Andy Jackson. And there we are, that's all of our squad. Um, we 
uh, we were in good team cohesion before I did the January sort of ousting of players. So now we have to rebuild, we have to find ourselves new team leaders and stuff. So, um, gonna be a big rebuild of the squad. The other thing is, because you can see a lot of these players are in, on a non-contract basis, um, which means that, you know, come the end of the season, we're probably gonna lose and have to rebuild the squad again. So that's, again, one of the downfalls of what we're doing here. Uh, but I am saving about um, 5k in wages. So... Yeah, I think we're spending 5k less in wages than we were previously, which means we're well in the budget for wages, which, you know, has its positives. It means we're saving money for next year and saving money for things that we want to build, which is good. Now... One of the positions I've noticed the most significant decline is in goalkeeping. Our goalkeepers are truly terrible compared to the goalkeepers we had before. Jason Pryor with another goal. Seventh goal of this season. Oh, it's easy offside. Yeah, oh, never mind. Pretty considerably offside as well. One thing that I still need to improve is um, our staff. So come the end of this, at the moment I can't get rid of any staff that was there at the beginning of the year because of, um, um, well, I need to compensate them and stuff. So I need to wait for their contract to run out, and then once their contract runs out, I can replace them with better squad, with better staff. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's that. That's one bit of. Uh, club improvement that I still haven't managed to do. Uh, I might replace you, you know, just because it's not good to keep an injured player on the pitch. Yeah, so this experiment has gone... It's, it, no, it's interesting. It's really interesting. I never tried to force myself to keep those players at the start of the season. So that's something that I've done new. Um... What I might do, so you see, next time around I do this type of experiment, say FM 2024 next year, what I might do is force myself not to buy players unless players leave or want to leave. So truly force myself to, to keep them, or maybe keep them for a whole season. I don't know, we'll see. Maybe just do this whole review at the end of the season rather than at the start or in the middle. Basically, I want to escalate this experiment as, as FM editions go on. Um, just to kind of play around with it, I suppose. This is the whole point. Playing FM, playing around with different things. Um, right, so we're going to make sure this guy comes off because he's on a yellow card. Then, um, who do I put in? Who do I put it? Actually, I'm just going to give it another couple of minutes. Okay. Let's see. Um, so the two lowest are Dan and Jason. Jason's getting tired. I'm going to put Les in. There we go. Les is going in. Uh, nah, just leave him there. He's not very good at that position, I'm afraid, but... A lot of suspense in this free kick. There we go. Oh, unlucky. We weren't fast enough to get to the ball. Clayton, I oh know. Still moving. Come on, Fleet. He crosses it really poorly into the area. I think he got a deflection, to be honest. So, obviously, this squad now is the halfway through the season. 
Uh, they're just trying to get to know each other and understand each other, to be honest. They haven't had a pre-season, they just had to go straight into it. So it's kind of to be expected that they're doing badly. Um, this might be our first, if we win, if we manage to pull this win off, this might be our first win with the new players in situ. Communication is never great and vision is never great when you've got um, lots and lots of new players. It's literally a brand new squad, except for the two players that I brought in at the start of the season. They know each other for a while, but those are the only two. Les Davis with a goal here off the post. Very good. I think, you know, one of the... So the way that I form these filters, essentially, that I use to search for players is that I look for the green... Is it the green? Yeah, the green attributes for that position and role. Uh, I think those are the essential attributes. And... Um, it seems to be lacking a lot in physical attributes, so I always find that whenever I do that method, players lack in physical attributes. So that's something to feed back to FM, I suppose. It's, um, you know, they seem to be disregarding physical attributes as uh, essential attributes for a lot of the roles. Well, where those attributes should actually be essential for just playing football in general, you know, you need to be strong physically to be able to be a good, a good player. It doesn't matter what role you play. So that's something to feedback to to the guys at FM. Okay, this I think this is our first win since the review. So if I go back to the calendar. Uh, we da, 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 schedule. We started looking for players around about here, uh, and then yeah. I mean, obviously they didn't come in straight away. Blah blah blah. Yeah, first win with the with a brand new squad. Uh, I'm still selling off some of the players that we had before in the squad, so that's why Thompson just left. Thompson, in fact, wanted to leave, and then he didn't want to leave. It was a bit of a weird one. He wanted game time. I gave him loads of game time, and he still wasn't happy with it. Um, so if I go back to Thompson, just so I can illustrate. Uh, there we go. Ten appearances. Oh, I thought I'd give him more than that. But anyway, so 10 appearances over the season. Yeah, that's about right. Loads game time. And he still wasn't happy with it. So he decided he wanted to leave. And then he decided, no, 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 I don't want to leave. I want to stay. I was like, oh, God, just go. Okay. I'm pretty sure I've already looked at this. And he's not a... F he's only got a 7. No, we've got better f free kick takers than that. Thanks very much. You know, I've got much better than that for free tick, free kick takers. He's going progressing quite well, Harrison. That's good. That's weird. They usually do. Players usually do. Anyway, uh, so if I go back to tactics, set pieces, and free kick, uh, say for example long, which is direct free kick, long kick. Oh yeah, I've already selected them, so yeah, nah, it's, it's good. Yeah, it's fine. I'm happy with my choices. I mean, he's... Um, what 
one of those things. Right, so we got I still haven't had five. I'm I'm looking I'm waiting for especially when we were having a good run of games, I was hoping I could get like um five players in the player of the week. Player player of the week, yeah. Um just because it, I think it unlocks some sort of achievement in Steam, which would be nice. Um, I'm gonna have to rest some players as well, just because um, <laughs> the two games are too close to each other to do them back to back to back for the same players. have lots of players that used to overlap be able to overlap in positions but I kind of lost that ability now with the players that I have <coughs> uh, so I'm not sure who to sacrifice he can overlap um, need to get him in I think I'm gonna. Oh uh, yeah, I'll sacrifice the striker. I think. Okay, let's go. Let's go ahead and play our next match. We're playing against Surely. Let me put. The league. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Look at Les Davis, he's big compared to the other guys, isn't he? Wow. That, that, that's Les Davis there. Seems to be big and bulky compared to the other players. This could be a goal here for surely. Oh, it's a penalty. It's even worse. Okay, so five minutes in. One nil down from a penalty. Not great. Obviously, with all the changes we made, we you know changed captains and etc. etc. It's a lot of changes to get used to for the players. Uh, this would have been a good movement if it resulted in anything, but it didn't. Goalkeeper missed that. Oh man. Goalkeeper even went to the right place as well to get it, and it's just like, no, it just went between his hands. Bless him. Okay, this could be a goal from prior. It's a penalty. Penalty for prior. He's going to take it as well. Very good. Okay. Managed to claw him back. Only 11 minutes into the match as well. It's been quite an interesting match so far. What's happening? Very 
pretty good from Clayton there. The, can he score? Ah, uh, could have passed the ball maybe. shoot it's got deflected oh, I kind of want to sub Les Davis now oh I don't have a striker do I so I can't sub him take out but I'm gonna take out this guy on a yellow gonna put max in uh, minute 69 is usually when I do my other subs I'm gonna take out Wiley who calls that penalty and I Jill Brown as well. There's a lot of defensive changes as well. I kind of want to take out Les because he's on on the brink of being booked, but um, I just don't have the player to sub him. I should have left Matt on the bench maybe, but with only five places, I can't have a player for every position. And he managed to score. <laughs> calm as you like as well. Really calm as you like with that kick. Left foot. Just like, whoop. There we go. That's going my way. And I'm going to put my foot across it. Uh, Clems. And then he just went like, doomp. <laughs> Very good from Les. Redeeming, him, redeeming himself uh, from the game he was having. Really poor from the defender there. And another penalty. Guys, come on, guys. I mean, we've never used to have penalties before. These these defenders are so penalty prone. Oh, my goodness. Yes, it's frustrating. Frustrating. Very frustrating coming from a team that was doing really well to a group of players that is just nonsense. There we go. But that is what we have to deal with when we do experiments with transfers. There we go. Well, I'm going to continue and take us to the end of the season. Uh, you can check with us again in the next episode. We'll be around about the end of the season. Um, yeah, so thanks so much for watching until the end. And I hope you enjoyed this experiment as much as I am too. But don't forget to like and subscribe. And you can also check out Patreon as well in the description. Take care. Bye-bye.